a good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm Mike from Markets. I can't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, it, uh, kind of an important. On to the important stuff, I guess, then. Uh, yeah, Kiwi Bank. Markets in a minute. Right. The New Zealand dollar. It's pretty important. Uh, just no stopping the bird at the moment. Uh, so a quick recap of the rocky road higher it's been on overnight, I guess. Uh, we pulled stumps yesterday afternoon at around 62.8 US cents. Uh, a little more downward drift in the early evening took us to 62.63, the uh, low. And yeah, by midnight the bird, was, bleh, the bird was bobbing around the 200 hour moving average region, 63.17-ish, that kind of space. Yeah, that was supposed to be a level of resistance, but yeah, it didn't put up much resistance, fight, whatever. And the ascent continued into the wee small hours, uh, 63.67, the tippy top of Mount Kiwi overnight. Uh, we've set up camp pretty close to that, uh, that summit this morning, yeah. Right, uh, so drivers of the rally, similar to yesterday, yeah, US dollar weakness across the board, uh, advances in equity markets, just on that, US markets, they are struggling to keep pace with their European and Asian counterparts. I'm sure we're all aware America has some very serious non-market related challenges uh, at present, uh, but yeah, a smidge higher for the big three US indices uh, and gains of between 1 and 4% pretty much everywhere else from Europe and Asia. Yeah, uh, so the Kiwi likes a positive equity story. Makes sense. Uh, enthusiasm around the global economic reopening. That was also a contributor and just risk on in general. Yeah, oh, oh, and uh, at the margin, a more or less flat result at the global dairy trade auction overnight. Yeah, it's not a great thing flat, but price stability is, it's at least a good thing at the moment. Yeah, so the Kiwis had a blinder, but leading the currency race overnight, that was the Aussie dollar. It, it stormed ahead. Uh, to be fair, the bird has regained some of the gap, the distance, the difference between the Aussie and the Kiwi. Yeah, but the divergence, yeah. But that divergence prompted a lot of action in the Kiwi Aussie cross. 91.91 uh, Aussie cents was the overnight low, lowest level since 2018. But we have bounced pretty hard since then, back to the mid-ish 92s. Yeah, uh, other currencies, uh, yen, that fell, risk on, yen off, standard response there. GBP and Euro, they did advance against the dollar, but just outclassed by the Antipodeans. Um, yeah, all the currency numbers, they will be lovingly detailed in the tables of first hand by Matt, so you don't need to worry about anything I just said there. Uh, he'll be here soon, because it's over there, still early. Um, what else? No major data today. Ah, but we do have our first peak at US employment numbers for May tonight. Uh, that's via the ADP Private Employment Survey. Yeah, maybe hint at how not good the official unemployment numbers might be out of the US uh, later this week. Friday night, Saturday morning. Yeah. Okay, um, have a great Wednesday. Kaki Tano.